The FDA on Tuesday approved the first treatment for primary progressive multiple sclerosis. That's a severe form of the neurological condition. Previously had had no approved treatments for it. Um, Acrelizumab, which is the generic name of this drug, should be available within a few weeks. And what was really exciting here is in the clinical trials, 24% lower risk of disability progression in those with primary progressive MS. I and mean, this is a game changer. This really opens the door for those people suffering from this type of MS. Up till now, there was really nothing to do. Not a cure, but what it does, it does stops this progressive part of the disease. I'm really excited. Because there's also another form, relapsing and remitting multiple sclerosis, where you know, someone can can have, I'll use the word attack, so to speak. Symptoms can be very severe, and then it may remit, relapse. And, and with this progressive form, it's been really hard for these patients because there just, there were no options. And what I really love about this is it's really a new way of attacking autoimmune illnesses because multiple sclerosis is when your body attacks itself. And mm -hmm. I, I'm really excited because I think this is, is probably the first of more treatments well, like this, not only just for MS, but other illnesses 400, similar to it. 400,000 people with MS in the States typically hits women twice as likely in that fourth decade in their 30s, typically the signs first start. And I've seen women who get it and up till now, nothing they could do, and I, I've seen them progress very quickly. Well, and, and it's one of those things where multiple sclerosis, 400,000 in the U.S., 2.3 million worldwide, women twice as likely to have MS as compared to men, and there are really no two cases that are identical. Multiple sclerosis is such an individual experience in terms of the symptoms that the patient may exhibit, so a lot of hope here for those in the MS community.